is another in a series of Microsoft Office training clips. Relationships in Microsoft Access version 2007. There are a couple of really good reasons why to consider relationships in Microsoft Access. One, our ability to see related records by using an expand button. And two, creating a report from two related tables. If it were me, I'd just make the query. Here's a table that tracks information about students. We have student ID, which is the primary key, first name, last name, and company-related information. We also have an attendance table, which includes the student ID, allowing us to manage a relationship between students and attendance. If I close these tables, click on the Database Tools tab, and then select the Relationships tool from the ribbon. I can click the Show Table button and show the Students table as well as the Attendance table. I'll manage the window a little bit here. I can see that the Student table and the Attendance table share a common field, to wit the Student ID. When was the last time you used the word or the phrase to wit? If I drag the student ID field from the students table on top of the student ID from the attendance table, the edit relationships dialog box opens up. This is a one-to-many relationship. I'm going to enforce referential integrity. I have no idea what referential integrity really means. I just like saying the term. Actually, it means there must be integrity in the referencing of the data. For example, I don't want to have any orphans. I can't have a record in the attendance table without having a corresponding record in the student table. That would be an orphan. In addition, if I deleted a record from the student table, leaving the attendance data, I would create an orphan. I'm going to click the switch to cascade deletes. So if I delete a student, the corresponding attendance data will be deleted. When I click create, I'm going to see a join line between the two tables. I see a 1 on the 1 side, any student should be listed only once, and the infinity symbol on the many side. I could have a student taking many classes. I'm going to click on the Save tool to save the changes I've made in the Relationships window, and then Close. When I open the Students table in the database, I'm now able to see an expand button at the beginning of each record. The plus signs referred to as an expand button. When I click on an expand button for any student, I'll see the related data, the attendance information. This is based on the relationships we created in the relationships window for access. Okay, to review, select database tools, click on the relationships button, Use the Show Table button to add tables to Design View for the Relationships window. When the tables share a common field, drag one field on top of the other, and in the Edit Relationships dialog box, consider Referential Integrity, Cascading Updates, and Cascading Deletes. Another Microsoft Office training opportunity brought to you by the Office of Institute.com.